Hi, I'm Krishna, Engineering Lead here at Delta Stream. Today, I would like to walk you through our new Snowflake native application. Snowflake has long been the foundation for analytics and data warehousing. But when time is critical, when you need immediate insights from live events like Kafka streams, Kinesis, or maybe CDC from a database, then the traditional batch model imposes frustrating delays, delays often measured in minutes or hours. This is the reality of the data stack until now. Now we can use Delta Stream to transform Snowflake into a true real-time data platform. I'll be using our Snowflake native app to show you how you can leverage Delta Stream to interact with live changing streams directly from inside the Snowflake UI. In today's demo, I have three Kafka topics with live data, bookings, flights, and passengers. And I'm gonna be building a real-time data pipeline that enriches the booking data with information about the passengers, and then finally joins that stream with flight data about passengers that were affected, and then materialize the results into a table within Snowflake. I already have a couple of stores set up with connectivity to Kafka and Snowflake. So I'm gonna be using the Snow Kafka, which is the Kafka uh, store with topics about uh, the customers and flight, and my S Snowflake store, which has connectivity to my current Snowflake account. Let's take a look at the topics available on the Kafka store. The topics I'm gonna be working with are booking events, customer profiles, and flight events. We can describe the booking events topic to see how it is set up. This will give us information about the partitions and replicas that the topic is configured with. All right, so we have one partition and three replicas. We can also preview the data that's flowing over the booking events topic. So we can see a bunch of events for flight UA 2322 with the booking ID, flight ID, and passenger information. Next, I'm gonna create a couple of streams around the topics that exist. So let's create a stream on top of the flight events, which tells Delta Stream which fields we are interested in, which store and which topic it's gonna to be using, and what format the data is flowing in. So now that a stream has been created, we can run an interactive query to see the data flowing over this particular stream. So we see two events over the flight events stream. The first one is that the flight was scheduled and then following that, that it was delayed. Next, to build up the rest of the pipeline, I'm just gonna define a stream on top of the booking events. And finally, a change log on top of the customer profiles. Now that we have our stream and change logs defined, we can start our first long running query. So in this query, we are gonna be querying events from the booking events stream, and then enriching it with data coming from the, change, uh, the customer change log. So this defines the enriched, enriched booking events stream 
and it also launches a long-running streaming query in the back. Let's wait for that query to come into running state. Finally, we are going to create another streaming query, which is going to materialize our data into Snowflake. So within Snowflake, we should see a disrupted premium passengers table under demodb.public. So before I launch that, let's run it. Then let's make sure that the query is running. Now let's take a look at our new table within Snowflake. We see that the disrupted premium passengers table has been created with all of the columns that we are populating with our streaming pipeline. We can also do a quick count of the records that are being populated into this new table. And you can see the count increasing over time. Let's query a couple of records from the table and see what's in there. So we can see that we have in real time populated a table with the passenger ID, the name, and the status of their flight, where it was coming from, where it was going to, all with some very simple SQL statements and very quickly from within the Snowflake UI.